TikTok just sent me like a little notification and they're like, hey, if you really want to, you can upload videos up to 30 minutes. <laughs> Who is going to be out here watching 30 minute TikTok videos? Who is going to do that? Now, is, is that going to stop me from uploading my videos to TikTok? Absolutely not, absolutely not. I will definitely be doing some uploading of longer videos to, you, to TikTok now. I can be absolutely unhinged on TikTok, like, let me know what you guys think about TikTok having uh, 30 minute videos. I don't know if I think it's a good idea, but I think it'll be fun as long as it lasts. Uh, kind of like how I didn't think it was a good idea for Twitter to give us more characters, and I, I still don't, honestly. But you know, we've got we've gotten some some hilarious things out of that. You know what I mean? Anywho, since what up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again. Today we are back for some more SCP content. As you guys know, I love the Volgun, so we are revisiting his page. Uh, this is one of his more recent ones. It's called SCP 1939 Radio Occupied Europe. Uh, it says it's safe and it's an electronic slash extra dimensional SCP. I just, I just want to note that I really love that the Volgun has started giving us like more descriptors in the title. So we kind of know like what we're getting into. Um, it's just, it's like, it's really helpful. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. And I'm super excited to see what this video has in store for us. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-1939. Object class, safe. Okay. Special containment procedures. SCP-1939 is to be contained in a conventionally soundproofed room measuring three by three by three meters with a key-coded door lock. What does that mean? What, it, okay, hold on. How many feet in three meters? Okay, so almost 30 square feet around that? Okay, we gotta translate for the Americans. SCP-1939 is to be placed on a small table in the center of the room. Mm -hmm. Additional furnishings to include recording devices, two, one primary and one redundant, okay. and a standard powered European electrical outlet, CEE 7 4 German Schuko 16 AB 250 volt grounded. This all sounded like all personnel okay. entering the same room as SCP 1939 are required to wear sound deadening hearing protection. Okay. Access may be granted to personnel level 2 or above at the discretion of the director of Site 76. Okay, so nothing too crazy. Description. SCP-1939 appears as a commercial radio measuring approximately 45 by 32 by 25 centimeters of a design dating to either the late 1920s or early 1930s. Okay, one of All the All markings box on the ones. body and on internal components are in German. Okay. Comparison to similar devices of known providence from the suspected time frame reveal its construction and components are entirely conventional and otherwise unremarkable. Okay. Though it does not exactly match any product offered in the catalog of companies known to be manufacturing commercial radios between 1920 and 1953. The year it was discovered by two USAF personnel demolishing a civilian dwelling to expand a NATO logistico depot near... The internal components are identical to those found in commercial radios manufactured during the aforementioned time frame, though the serial numbers found on them do not match any found in the records of companies making similar components. So it's like a radio that was made in a different dimension, which I guess makes sense, right? Because it's called an extra dimensional SCP. Because that's that sounds like the whole like, you know, different dimensions, but same thing, you know, like anyway. When powered, SCP-1939 is capable of picking up several stations comprising news, music, and state programming. These are entirely in German. The broadcasts which play from its speakers do not match the radio broadcasts of any extant radio station. 
Radio triangulation has failed to pinpoint a source for these broadcasts, and scans of radio frequencies across all wavelengths are unable to detect them. Okay. Jamming attempts using military-grade ECM devices have failed to prevent SCP-1939 from receiving them, nor does placing it deep underground, where radio waves should be unable to penetrate. Okay. Much of the music played and artists mentioned are unable to be found in any other media, excepting when SCP-1939 was being tested or disassembled. Foundation personnel have transcribed and translated these broadcasts with particular attention paid to the news broadcasts. Mm -hmm. As with the music, the news events being reported, even the reporters themselves seem to not exist or to exist in a completely different capacity. Oh, that's kind of cool. Such reported events include the death of Adolf Hitler, Führer of the Greater German Reich in 1963, mm -hmm. a manned moon landing described as the first in history, in 1974 by Stern Siegler Hans Dietl and Christoph Müller, mm -hmm. and the celebrations of the 50th anniversary of the end of the Ostkrieg in Berlin and Moscow in 1997. Okay. Historians who were played recordings of the political speeches by undercover agents who approached them in the guise of student filmmakers noted the pronounced presence of National Socialist themes and rhetoric, as well as references to historically significant members of the NSDAP. Is this a radio from an alternate dimension where the Nazis were successful? What is... Never mind. I'm not going to say anything about it. That's nuts, though. That's... Okay. A recording of a speech taped by Foundation personnel in 1959 revealed a 99.4% match to the voice Joseph Goebbels when examined by audio engineers. The speech itself does not match any recorded address given by him. Repeated attempts to place some of SCP-1939's components into another radio or into a television to see if the anomalous properties are intrinsic to SCP-1939 itself or are capable of being transmitted by the parts contained therein have thus far gone without success. Okay. When powered down, SCP-1939 becomes inoperative and it ceases to receive any transmissions. I mean, that's, Exposure that to the broadcasts from SCP-1939 appears to induce psychological changes in humans. Mm -hmm. Dr. noted that janitorial staff assigned to maintain SCP-1939's containment cell had a statistically significant lower rate of absenteeism and reported insubordination with higher reported rates of job satisfaction. What? Experiments with D-Class personnel specifically selected for oppositional personalities and histories of insubordination revealed that exposure to the broadcasts from SCP-1939 reduced oppositional and defiant personality markers in 78% of those exposed, inducing what can best be described as docility and obedience. What? This effect occurs regardless of a subject's knowledge of the German language and seems to become more pronounced with greater exposure. Before the experiment was terminated, no discernible maximal point to this effect was noted, though it did seem to diminish after periods without exposure. Okay, so just to clarify, this is a radio from an alternate dimension where the Nazis were successful and were in power for quite some time, and also it freaking turns pe like it makes people into like docile good little soldiers additionally affected subjects experience changes to their political beliefs mm -hmm. regardless of prior political persuasion or lack thereof subjects exposed to scp 1939 yeah, begin going. to have a noticeable affinity for the policies of national socialism yeah including that is, that is exactly where i thought this was going exactly where I thought this was going and I didn't say it earlier but I'm going to say it now I do not understand people's fascination with imagining an alternate reality where Nazism it, it, where Nazis won I do not understand that and then and then they're like oh what if it was contagious like okay all right bud being a pronounced support for the curtailing of civil liberties particularly toward racial and religious minorities, state control and regulation of private economic activity, 
a sense that the subject's own race is superior to all others, mm -hmm. and the use of military force to impose this political order on non-adherent nations or ethnic groups. Right. The remaining 22% of subjects exposed showed either a statistically insignificant effect or no effect at all. The effect appears only to occur when exposed to broadcasts from SCP-1939 itself. Recordings of these broadcasts played to a control group on a different device produced no discernible effect. Mm -hmm. Excerpt of Interview with D-87654 Interviewed, D-87654 Interviewer, Dr. Oh damn, we don't Interview even get to know Dave. the doctor? Forward Prior to her acquisition by the Foundation, D-87654 was a member of an animal rights activist group who was convicted of felony murder when one of her associates died during the break-in of a pharmaceutical company laboratory, conducting late-stage drug development testing on animals. Mm. She was selected for exposure to SCP-1939 due to her extremely oppositional personality, as well as strong involvement in radical politics. What do you think about it? These experiments are so dark-sided and unethical. Like, I get it. You guys are always like, oh, the D-class are criminals. Like, I don't know. That doesn't make these things ethical. Um, but this experiment in particular, I feel like is really dangerous. I feel like this experiment in particular is, it, it does not bode well. Playing log now. I understand you were politically active in college. Yes, I was. How so? I was a member of numerous animal rights and anti-war groups, and tried to attend the protest or picket at least once a month. It is my understanding that you were formerly familiar with another D-class in this experiment, D-45289, but that you two no longer associate. Why is that? I don't know. We just drifted apart, to be honest. I just feel more comfortable with people of my own race these days. I see. Have you always felt this way? That's the strange thing. I used to actually consider them my sisters, but now, I don't know. Are we almost done here? Yes, just one more thing. Do you see this pistol on my desk? Are you familiar with its operation? Yes. Good. I need you to take that pistol, walk over to that kennel, and use the pistol on the three dogs inside <gasps> it. Tape is silent for 31 seconds, then two gunshots. Tape is silent for nine seconds, then a single gunshot. Very good. How do you feel? Happy to serve, sir. And long. Why? Closing statement. You could have asked her to do and Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Okay. After this interview, D-87654's scheduled termination was delayed by three months in order to see if the effects of SCP-1939 were permanent. At the conclusion of the three months, D-87654 was shown video footage of her actions, the dogs. She became emotionally distraught to the point of becoming physically ill. When asked to explain why she had done this, her answer was, because I had to follow my orders. Psychological testing indicated an oppositional personality. Queries regarding D-87654's political views indicated almost a complete return to her pre-exposure political makeup. Subject terminated at the first of the following month per Foundation Protocol. This concludes today's lecture. Thank you for listening. I did not enjoy any part of this SCP. I knew where it was going when it started. And then as it continued, it got even worse. I feel like even a lot of the darker SCPs have kind of like this fun fantasy element. Um, and the ones that don't, I tend to avoid, right? Like the one about like that kills the puppies or whatever. There was nothing fun or fantastical about this. This was just like upsetting, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it, um, but I don't think that Nazis and Nazism and 
all of that. I, I, that's just not fun subject matter for me. And I don't understand the people for whom it is fun. I feel like the person who wrote this had a great time with this and was very involved and like really feels really good about what they did here. And like, I guess like they did a good job, but I like for me as a viewer, this did not speak to me. I was not super intrigued by it. Um, yeah, I, I, I would say this was weak. I would say whoever wrote this one, this was a weaker entry into the SCP logs and we should get back to fun stuff. So if you guys liked it, I'm, like I'm not judging you if you liked it, it's just not my cup of tea. If you guys have any more suggestions for other SCPs, don't forget to leave your requests and recommendations in the comments below. And other than that, peace out, hope biscuits, it's skittin' lit.